when we're duples, um, it's nice to be able to know in it many rows that you're going to have. And we can do that very easily with this useful result. It says, simply says, a truth table in distinct statements has two to the end. Very simple concept, so let's make sure you have it by working a few problems. Well, suppose give the number of rows of the truth table for a statement not R or not W. It says there's a truth table with N distinct statements. There are actually two distinct statements here, R W. N is 2 here, so there would be 2 to the second. So since there are two statements, R and W, you would power of 2 to the power of 2 be 2 to the just 4 rows. Associated truth table. You see how easy that is. Just make sure you've got it. Let's look at another. Let's look at another. Suppose we take a look at and the key is finding the number of um, statements there are. So if you look at this, a Q, there's a P. P has already been counted. And this is this is where it comes in. You don't count P twice. P think statement, you've counted it, you don't count it again. You have an R. So you have one, two, three think statements. So N is three. So there would be two to the th which is two times two times two, which would be eight rows in the associate table for that statement. And by this time, you have the idea, but let's do more time. One more example. Suppose we have this one. Again, the idea is to count the number of distinct statements. No matter how clear it is, you just look. There's a Q, that's one. There's a P, there's two. You've already counted it again, so you split two. There, that takes you to three. There's a U that takes you to 4, and there's a K that takes you to f 2, 3, 4, 5. Five distinct statements count the P twice. So you would have 2 to the fifth, which is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, which is 30 rows in the associate truth table for the compound statement. Idea is very simple, but it's also very useful.